Welcome, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio, TV, and Blab Network, restoring vitality to you and to the planet. I'm Scott Patton. He's Martin Patella. Welcome, Martin. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. You consistently point the wrong way, but it looks the right know. way on my screen. No, no, no. uh, uh-uh. uh, the other You're way. We're right there. No, no, no. We'll, yeah. we'll see which way it looks when we get the video. And I do the editing because one of the weird things about Blab is it just switches things all the time. Yes. One of the things that we wanted to talk about was truth. And uh, I'm reminded of the old Jesus Christ superstar uh, rock opera. And my favorite, favorite lyric or line of the whole thing was, we all have truths, are mine the same as yours? And one of the things that... Uh, we're looking at is our words can lie, we can lie to ourselves in our mind, but our body doesn't lie. Like when you've got a cold, the nose drips. You can't lie to yourself and say, I don't have a cold. And the body just says, well, the nose is still dripping regardless of what you say. So what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit about how we can get to the truth. Like how can we see if some supplement really is working for us or against us? Uh, and you're an expert on that, Martin, and it's one area that we don't talk about nearly enough. So I wanted to jump in today. So can the body only tell the truth? Truth and trust, huh? Because when you... I get a lot of phone calls from people asking me to tell them what to do. Mm. Like, give me the instructions. Tell me what exactly I should use so I can get from here to there. Is this thing the right one for me? Is this thing the right one for me? And the truth is out there. (laughs) X-Files. We need to get the X-File music on this part. There is this universal knowing. Your body is connected through its electromagnetics to the universal field of potentiality, the great big human consciousness. It truly is out there, and we know. And so... I can make a statement, and that statement can be answered with a yes or no question. So I can't be asking a question. I need to be making a statement. So the statement could be something like, um, today is Thursday, or my gender is female. And then we will know if it's a true statement or a false statement. Right. And the statement is either true or false. And so when I make a true statement, your body is strengthened for a short amount of time, 10 10 seconds. When you make a false statement, your circuitry is weakened for a short amount of time. Typically, um, this is done through kinesiology. The biggest proponent of this was David Hawkins. Uh, He put out a book called... uh, mm -hmm. Power versus force, and the eye of the eye. <laughs> I think I read Power versus Force. In it, he was putting out kinesiology, and he would use a major muscle group, like you know, extend your arm way out there, like like way out there, and uh, the the deltoid, your shoulder muscle, is one of the strong things. But you can do something like this, where you can. Push down on this. This would be the demonstration, right? Like if you put down about five pounds, either I'll find it easy to resist or hard to resist. So when you make a statement that's, when I make a statement that is true, I'll be stronger. When I make a statement that's false, I'll be weaker. Weaker. All right. Just and uh, just for a few minutes, and then it goes away. Not, not even minutes. Seconds. seconds. And the the method that I use for myself when pressed is this. I connect my thumb to my pinky Mm. on my non-dominant hand, which in my case is left. And then I try to separate this this connection. So uh, when I'm strong, I'm having a hard time separating it. When I'm weak, it doesn't take much. So today is Thursday. Today is Friday. 
it's pretty amazing when you do it because it's like, come on, how can it be? And I've had some, quite a lot of experience with kinesiology as well, most of it about 20 years ago. And I took this course and as part of the course, we were doing the muscle testing. We were doing it as you were saying, you'd have your hand out and then the person would test and, and push down and, and you'd, and so what they, the exercise was, was to count the years backwards. So 2016, 2015, 2014. And each time you said that you would, so I would say it to the other person, the other person had their arm out and then I would just push down as I said, each one. And what would happen is nothing, nothing down, nothing, nothing down, nothing, nothing, nothing down. And I'm not really paying attention, you know, cause I'm just, I have no idea why it's going down or what's going on, right? You're just mapping it. Right? Just mapping it. And so the individual that I was doing it with was from London, England. And I'm from Vancouver, Canada. We had never met. I had no clue who this person was. He actually said he had heard about it four days before it started. It was like a week long or two week long thing and talked to them and then flew out to take the course. And part of it was this kinesiology. So I hit when he lost three million pounds when his wife divorced him, when he gave up his son for adoption, when his son came back into his life, when his daughter got married, like every, when he moved, his, when he was forced to leave his house, when he bought his house, like there were major events, every major event. And he could not believe it. Right. Of course we were roommates. So afterwards, like I didn't know at the time. And that night we're sitting there talking about the day and he says, Scott, he says, he said, this, it went weak on this. This is what happened this year. This is what happened this year. This is what happened. He says, every year was a major year in my, in my life that we hit. My right. first kiss sort of thing, right? Yeah. You remember that. And that was like, just blew our minds because both of us were incre incredibly skeptical about the whole process, right? Yeah. I want to show you one other method. I use uh, a pendulum which uh, is a, um, this is a steel um, object on actually a silver chain, sterling mm -hmm. silver. This is actually the real McCoy mm -hmm. for dowsers. And what, what happens with that is uh, uh, you can uh, activate it. You can learn to work with it. So I'm going to close my eyes so I don't even see what it's doing. And then I'm going to say, give me a yes. So my yes is rotation clockwise. Okay. Give me a no. So my yes is rotation counterclockwise. Yeah, no, the no is counterclockwise. Yeah. What do you want to know? What do I want to know? What do you want to know that oh, you're not sure about? Oh, my great Swami. Uh, will I make a trip to the Greek islands this year? That's a dumbass question <laughs> because um, that's why I asked it so that we could talk because, about good because questions. It's sort of like a lottery, right? Like, will you? Well, you you can. You just go make it, right? Will I marry a prince? No, I hope not. <laughs> I would be really upset. Okay, I would be asking something like, um, "It would be. It is wise for me to." Take a trip to Greece this summer. Oh, okay. That's a question worth asking. All right. Is it right. wise for me to take a trip to so Greece? Go ask another question. Okay, I'm going to go like this. It is wise of me to answer Scott's question. I can do that. Okay. It is wise for Scott Patton to take a trip to Greece this summer. No. It's a no. I was thinking of September. <laughs> All right. It is wise for Scott to take a trip to Greek islands since September. That's it's a yes. Hard to, it's a yes. Okay. Oh, that's a clear yes. Oh, good. Yes. I was, I was doing this in front of a guy. And uh, and I I said, what's his name? Is an honest man. I get a clear no. Oh, I'm 
thinking, okay, why did I ask it and what does it mean? This man tells a lie when he feels he needs to. Yes. It's a yes. That was a yes, right? Then I had to rephrase it. It is okay for me to do business with this man. Yes. Right? Oh, interesting. Because he would lie when he needed to. We all do. I mean, yes. I don't want to hurt my friend's feelings or my wife's feelings. You know, when you ask me, uh, are do you like my haircut? Well, yeah. in this case, that's the truth. I do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's the sort of thing where like we have these like telling the, you know, the, the brutal truth is not necessarily ways to, uh, to right. develop better friendships. Right. But if you define honest, that means tells truth every time, right? Right. Not good. Compassionate or whatever. So we can ask, um, or st I, mean, I, I keep saying ask, but it's not really ask. It's a, it's a state and you get either truth or falsehood based on what you, uh, um, determine or what the consciousness says right so I, I mean i don't have anything like that here but like here's a bottle of water right it's wise of me to drink more than three glasses of this every day more than four glasses of this every day more than five glasses of this every day more than six glasses of this every day see how i gotta know at six right so at this point it would be wise of me to drink five glasses of whatever's in here, which is water, every day. Right. I, I didn't prepare for this well enough to, to have some supplements, but you can do that with a menu. You go uh, into a restaurant pretending that this is the menu on, of the uh, whatever's in front of you. You can just go, uh, today it's wise of me to order this one, this one, this one. This one, you get a you get a yes on the one that's right for you today. You can go to my website. You can point your finger at the product that you think you might want to order from me, Life Enthusiast, and you will take a look at it and you say, "It is wise of me to order this product today." And you may get a yes, mm -hmm. right? And you may get a no. And if you don't have a pendulum, then you can do the same thing with, with the fingers. With the fingers. I'm actually I do it differently. I do it my dominant and my these two. Yeah. And it just I, I have my fingers so strong that I can't separate it regardless. So I'm using the pinky because it's easier to break. Cool. Yeah. Well, I like the idea of the non-dominant hand and the weaker finger, and then it's like, oh wow. And when you do it a few times, you notice there's a there is a significant difference. It's very noticeable. You just practice. You make true statements and false statements until you know the difference. And it's not going to be that hard to... Uh, right. Now, one of the things that we learned when we were doing the kinesiology where you put your arm out was sometimes the circuits are switched. So the yes sure. looks like a no and the no looks like a yes. Reverse polarity. That happens to people. And uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, turn on the switching. So it, that means that it's it's the same thing you would do with tapping. The same thing you would do when you're doing the um, EFT is you want to uh, touch here, 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 and here, and here in this order, right? So that the circuit is switched on correctly. Because if you if you do it. Uh, solar plexus chest under the this you you reverse the person you just totally take them out of how they should be running Ta -da. You, have, you have something going on in your uh, I have a visitor right now so I have to mute myself every once in a while so that you don't hear all the background noise all right so um, this is a very simple exercise Look at that, 15 minutes, and we have not only explained it, we have demonstrated it, and uh, truth technique. Now we're going to give it away for free. But you could pay somebody $75 to learn it. Well, that's right. And uh, I think what you said was really important is, you know, asking the, or making the right statement 
and uh, that whole process is an important part of it, making sure that you've got the circuit on the right way instead of the wrong way. That's an important part. So if you are determined that you know your polarity, meaning this, like you can always do a fact check. Like today is Thursday. We are recording on Thursday. It should come out as true. So you should get the true. And then you can uh, test it with uh, my eyes are brown, which they're not. So I'll uh, get another uh, test and it should come out as a no. I know that I'm not switched polarity. That's right. One of the things that we did was this is strong and this is weak. And if it was this is strong and this is weak, then you knew you were reversed. Sure, and you had to do something to sort of get yourself grounded and, and get it. Mm -hmm. So we had talked a little bit about this, but let's talk a little bit more of some ways that you could check your... I still wanted to say prescription drugs. Uh, check your supplements to see if they're good. Check for your you. prescription drugs. Don't hesitate. This is everybody that's watching is going to come back and say it said no. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> we know that for a fact. Is it the funny thing? Is your headache caused by deficiency of Tylenol? Is your Breast cancer caused by the deficiency of uh, tamoxifen and radiation. I need more chemo. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is your high blood pressure caused by deficiency in uh, beta channel blockers? No, too much blood. No, it's not too much blood. Well, that's what happens. You fill something up and your press gets full of pressure. The pressure goes up. Okay. So I got to drain it. <laughs> An interesting thought, right? There are four ways how doctors try and regulate your blood pressure. One is they uh, know that calcium is the uh, uh, element that supports the greater pressure, the more squeezing. So they actually are introducing a calcium channel blocker medication. But wouldn't you know it, the natural antidote to calcium isn't a calcium channel blocker, it is actually the magnesium, you know. Mm. Calcium activates the sympathetic, magnesium unactivates the sympathetic. Wouldn't you know? There you go. <laughs> so, okay, so you can just come out with your fingers or with your pendulum and you say, today I need to supplement with magnesium. You do. So yes, for me. I need at least 500 milligrams of magnesium. No. I need less than 300 milligrams of magnesium. No. I need more than 400 milligrams of magnesium. I need less than 500 milligrams of magnesium. That's a yes. So we are now between 400 and 500 milligrams of magnesium, which I know that in my magnesium oil, that's about three quarter of a teaspoon. Mm. And then would you just put it on your skin and absorb it that way? Sure. Or you can take it orally every which way. I just determined that today I need about 450 milligrams of magnesium. That will be the right dose for me today. Right. So you can ask your body and your body's going to give you an answer. Yeah, pretty much. You can step up to a bottle in your freezer because that's where I keep my superfoods. Take it out. I hold it and say, this is the right thing for me today. That's what it would look like if it was a really strong yes. Right. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to watch because it just doesn't look like you, you don't think you're doing anything. And Well, I'm not doing anything. I'm allowing it to do its thing. Right. And it's not that I'm volitionally controlling it through my conscious muscle control. I'm, I'm allowing it to do whatever it wants to do. Right. Yeah, the body is doing it, and that's how it's communicating to you. Yeah. And uh, a really good one is to go into the grocery store and get a little package of sugar and just <laughs> see how weak that, if you do the muscle testing thing, see how weak it makes you. Yes. And, and if you're spinning the pendulum, it'll be, you'd be careful you don't uh, break yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hurt yourself. Cut, cut your skin. 
Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people were doing the month. They were doing this one and they'd hold some, they'd hand them a bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. Coffee and, and then everyone with the sugar, just the hand just went yes. all the way it's down. It's one of those guaranteed uh, make you weaker. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's just like, wow. Yeah. Refined yeah. salt does it to most people. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So yes, cool. you can get the yes or a no. And, and yes, today may mean not yes tomorrow. A dosage make us, makes a difference. A brand makes a difference. So it's this thing today for me. Right. Yeah, that's a, an important part is tomorrow it may be a totally different answer for whatever reason. Yes, it may. So it's good to recheck. Great. Awesome. So is there anything else you want to talk about in terms of muscle testing? I think we've covered the, the basics pretty well. We've given you two different ways that you can muscle test. We've talked about how you can talk about how you can make the statement and also how you can just take something, put it in your hand and then go, Oh, guess I shouldn't be using that or go, Oh yeah, that's really good. Take some more. Yeah. Some people use the falling forward, falling back technique, mm. which is you just take the object and put it to your chest. And if your body naturally leans into it, it's probably good for you. And if it's if you're falling away from it, it's probably not. If you faint, definitely don't. <laughs> I don't know. The comedian just shows up every time, huh? <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Thank you very much, Martin. I think that's been uh, some wonderful information. And uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. This is the Life Enthusiast Online Radio, TV, and Blab Network, www.life-enthusiast.com. We've got uh, all of our podcasts are there. Uh, we appreciate your comments. Tell us what you think of us. Tell us uh, what you think of what we share. And anything and you'd like to know. That would be great. Yeah. So restoring vitality to you and the planet. And see you next time. Bye-bye.